Yes, another Jason Bourne movie. Yes, finally. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Jason Bourne. Yes, Jason Bourne stars Matt Damon, Alicia Vicarodin, Tommy Lee, jo Tommy Lee Jones, and Julia Stiles. And this movie is directed by Paul Greengrass, who previously directed movies like Captain Phillips, Bourne Supremacy, and Bourne Ultimatum. And this is the fifth installment of the Bourne franchise, the fourth installment of the Matt Damon Bourne franchise, the only one that matters. Yes, I'm a big fan of the Bourne, of the Bourne franchise. Yes, I love the Bourne movies, <laughs> except Bourne Legacy, but yeah, I love them. Born Identity is a fantastic movie. Supremacy, not as good, but still an amazing movie. Ultimatum is the best, one of the greatest action movies ever. It's so good. As you saw in my top 10 favorite action movies. And yeah, I was really disappointed with Born, Le Born Legacy. Yes, Jeremy Renner was trying with that movie. Just, it was a very underwhelming, very generic movie. But, but I'm glad they finally brought in Matt Damon's character, Jason Bourne, back. And they got Paul Greengrass, who directed Supremacy and Ultimatum. And I was excited for this new for this new Jason Bourne movie, and honestly, I was. The trailers looked amazing, and of course, it's got Matt Damon, and you got Paul Greengrass, the only person who can use shaky cam as a style, and yeah, so was this movie good? Yes, Jason Bourne is a good movie. However, it is the weakest Jason Bourne movie of the three Jason Bournes. It's better than Bourne Legacy, but it's not as good as Bourne Identity, Supremacy, or Ultimatum. It's still good, but honestly, there are some things that just didn't work in this movie. But I'm going to start with the positives, because there's a lot of positives. Matt Damon is back to Jason Bourne, and he's fantastic. The acting in this movie is really good. I love Matt Damon. He's a compelling character, an interesting character, and what Jason Bourne goes through in this movie and learns more about his past. It's fascinating, it's interesting, it's captivating, it's entertaining. I love it. And Alicia Vickerin, I think, stole the movie. She's brilliant in this movie. Tom Lee Jones is also really great, and I love seeing Julia Stiles. Again, I love her character in all the Bourne movies. She was great, too. And also, the action scenes in this movie were stunning. The opening action scene for this movie was brilliant, and I thought, wow, this is going to be the best Bourne movie ever. It's so good. Amazing. The chase scenes in this movie are great. There's a motorcycle chase scene, there's a foot chase, there's a car chase. All of the chase scenes in this movie are amazing. Almost all of the action scenes in this movie are brilliantly crafted, amazingly executed. And again, there's shaky cam, but again, Paul Greengrass is the master of shaky cam. There's only a few directors that know how to use shaky cam as a style, not as a gimmick. And Paul Greengrass is one of those directors. He directed the action scenes brilliantly. As an action movie, Jason Bourne is a sensational film. But as a film in general, it's just a good movie. I do like it, but there are a lot of problems with this movie, mostly with its story. So there's a lot of interesting elements with these characters, but some of the story things, story elements in this movie are incredibly boring. This movie does drag a bit, and there is a lot of boring things, and there's a lot of corny dialogue in this movie. Again, the direction was fantastic, but there was a lot of issues with the writing for this movie, for the writing. Some of the story made no sense. Some of, the, some of the story just wasn't interesting, and some of the dialogue in this movie was really corny. Something like out of an 80s cheesy action movie like Commando. Even though I love Commando, but this is Jason Bourne, not Commando. And yeah, some things just didn't work. And again, this movie is the most boringest Jason Bourne movie out of the... Matt Damon ones. Born Legacy is also a boring movie, and just now it just doesn't work. And again, this movie is better because at least it has the good acting and the good action scenes. Born Legacy had one good performance and no really memorable, memorable action scenes or anything. So it was just a generic boring movie. This one is a good movie, but with quite a bit of boring aspects in it. There are some things that just drag on, and you just don't give a shit. Like I want to care about the story, but some of the story elements are just so boring and they just drag on it. It really dragged the movie down. And this is a Jason Bourne movie. I never get bored watching any of these Bourne movies because they're exciting, amazing action espionage movies. But this movie does drag and it does get boring. But there are still a lot of great things. Like I said, the acting is fantastic. The direction is fantastic. And when there are action scenes, it's absolutely stunning. Like some of the best action scenes in these Bourne franchise. But it's just a drag and there's a lot of things you have to go through and not all of the story is boring just some of it really drags and just yeah I get there's some boring things in great movies but some of them just they fly by quick and they get right back to the exciting things but this movie like 
it like holds still in the middle of the movie for like a solid 25 minutes and you're just not interested and you just don't give a shit about what's happening. You're like, oh my god, just go back to Jason Bourne kicking some ass or something. And again, I love action movies and I also love great espionage, thrillers, dramatic movies, but you gotta make them interesting and compelling and well written. This movie had a lot of writing issues and some of the writing wasn't very good. Some of it was, but some of it had a lot of problems and it, it kind of let the movie down. It's a bit of a disappointment. I still really like Liked the movie, but I was expecting this movie to be amazing, right on the same level as like Born Ultimatum. But it was the weakest out of the Matt Damon Born. Still better than Born Legacy, but ugh, I wanted this movie to be great. But it was still good. If you're excited to see this movie, go see it. Just lower your expectations just a little bit. But still, Jason Bourne, still a good movie. I would highly recommend it. On a scale of one to ten, I'll give the movie Jason Bourne. A 7.2 out of 10, so yeah, not a great movie, I wanted it to be great, but still a pretty decent one. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Jason Bourne, so yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me what is your favorite Bourne movie, my favorite Bourne movie, I guess Ultimatum is the best one, so Ultimatum, but what is your favorite, comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.